Well, folks, it is a, another Saturday, and we are pondering, taking a little bit of a wander. Um, gonna do it different this time, though, and we're gonna get Brenda out of the garage and take a run out across the islands and along the Olympic uh, coast, let's say. Um, we actually have a destination in mind already. We are headed to Fort Lake Flagler, Flagler, Flagler. Fort Flagler, there we go. It's part of the Pacific Triangle of Fire. There were three major artillery installations, forts you could call them, scattered around the Puget Sound, creating kind of a kill zone on the entrance to the sound. All of these were active through the late 1800s up and through till about 1945, 1950. I think one of them wasn't decommissioned all the way until the 60s, but most of the artillery had been moved out. Obviously these days we have much more advanced weapon systems and we don't need coastal batteries quite like these, but they're still kind of cool to look at. So let's go take a peek, and if you're curious, you can see another one of these forts, Fort Casey, on the video that I just put right there. Later. Welcome to Fort Flagler. Um, this is just the first little magazine, what you could call it, basically where they stored a lot of their extra munitions that's back in the center of Morrowstone Island here. And then there's batteries that ring this entire place. So we're gonna just gonna go check out some of that stuff today. Not a very big store room. So those round circles, I guess, would be where they must have had the mortars. Up on top of the bunkers, it kind of disappears.
I get it. See, they store everything in here. This is where the big searchlight would be. See the tracks. And when they are watching for something, they can roll it on out here. And just cover the section of water out there. All right, so I've tried to explain this a couple of times in this video, but here's a little better perspective. So they called it the Triangle of Fire. It was operational through both world wars and was the artillery defenses for the Puget Sound. You can't get in unless you go through that little channel with the lines right there, basically. So the red dot on top that's going out of focus is Fort Casey, which video is inserted on the corner of your screen right here if you'd like to check that out. This next one over here by Port Townsend is Point Wilson. There's another fort there that we have not checked out. And then we are at Flagler State Park, which is that red triangle right there where my icon's at. So, looking up. That strip of land going out into the sea, Point Wilson. That big chunk of land right over there, Fort Casey. kind of neat we just keep bumping into little things like this along the trail out in the woods this one I imagine was probably manned by a bunch of people with like binoculars and probably one looks like I don't know how big I don't know enough about weaponry but a big gun <laughs> and they just hung out here and spotted boats be kind of boring wouldn't it sitting in that little bunker days on end looking at the sound actually Sounds kind of nice. Probably makes sense. It's the powder room, it's where the girls did their makeup. <laughs> <laughs> seashells they collected from the beach. <laughs> if you're wondering about these big concrete discs, if you remember from Fort Casey, they had the uh, huge artillery cannons that were on swing pivots, so they would like drop down low, couldn't be seen from the other side of this, and then they would swing up and into position to be able to fire. Obviously the, the cannons aren't here for this particular one.
You know we gotta go down there, right? Mm -hmm. chain came down to the drum on the wall behind you, where the discoloration is. Yeah. It was eventually powered, at least. Yeah. Huh. There's a bird in it. <laughs> well, this one's nice and like teenager free. not as exciting though. <laughs> There's your latrine, Shayla. Yeah, it was a rifle range. Can you see Mount Rainier out there? Guess we'll see when I edit the video. Do 
here we have the barracks. Well, that there was Fort Flagler. I think we did, oh, I don't know, three, three and a half mile loop. Might have even been longer. Let's see, 3.78 miles from when we originally left the car, looping up through all the different gun batteries, the fire control stations, the spotlight stations, and now we are back to the Mustang. Say hi, Shiloh. Hi, Shiloh. <laughs> 